In today's skill builder we will do a quick review of representing and interpreting data. Let's start with bar graphs. Bar graphs are graphs that represent data using a set of bars. On this bar graph, we are going to chart the sea life sightings on our beach watch today. We saw nine starfish. We make a bar above the starfish that reaches all the way to the nine. We saw five dolphins. The bar above the dolphin will line up with the five. And we saw one shark. Scary. Its bar will line up with the one. Now, we can use the bar graph to interpret the data. What sea life did we see the most of? If you said starfish you are correct. Starfish have the highest bar. What did we see the least of? Sharks. Thank goodness. We can also compare numbers on the graph. How many more starfish did we see than dolphins? Well, we saw 9 starfish and 5 dolphins. To find the difference we need to subtract the two numbers. 9 minus 5 equals 4. We saw 4 more starfish. Moving right along to our next type of graph we have a pictograph. A pictograph is a graph that uses pictures to represent a data set. Here is some data about the number of ice cream cones our friends have eaten this summer. Each ice cream cone equals one cone. Gil ate one cone, so he will get one cone by his name. Hank ate a few more. He will have three by his name. Trixie ate five ice cream cones so she will have five ice creams by her name. Great work! That moves us along to our final graph which is called a line plot. Line plots are sometimes called dot plots as well. It is a graph that represents data using a number line and dots. Hey look it is Daphne, she is here to help us out today. Hi, everyone. I have been practicing my jumps and keeping track of how high I go. Here is a list of measurements I have taken. Could you put them in a line plot for me? I will plot the top row. There are two measurements of 10 feet. I will put two dots above the 10. One dot above the 12, two more dots above the 11, and finally another dot above the 12. Second row is mine to plot. I need to put three more dots above the 10. One more dot above the 12 and one dot above the 13 and the 14. This completes our graph. Wow. That sure is a nice way to put all those measurements into an organized graph. I am feeling ready for some relaxation. Thanks for joining us for some sun and a lesson on representing and interpreting data.